There we go. Hello and welcome back. I don't know why you're here, but hey. So we're back with uh, Duke, Otagi, whichever name you want to use for our boy. And here's the dice in space. Since he's the dungeon dice creator and very fond of dice monsters, we have a little bit of all of them. Mostly the BES monsters, which I think I'm getting that right 100%. And, of course, anything that looks kind of futuristic -y, spacey, and involves dice. Particularly, we have Orgoth, because why not? We also have, of course, the Big Core MK2, the Armored Core, two of them actually, which are, which I'll 100% admit I kind of like them more for their defense, but their effect is very nice too. The Cypher Soldier is here just because of his defense, if I'm honest. I mean, he really is just here for that. The BES Tetran is here. The Crystal Core. The Roulette Barrel. The Gear Golem, the Moving Fortress is here again because I love good defense. And 2200 for a four-star monster is very delicious. The BES Covered Core. We also have Maximum Six. Two of the Dice Clops. The Nano Breaker. Who again, like I said, if they look kind of futuristic. We have the Jade Knight. The Future Samurai. Who, let's face it, looks pretty freaking cool. And two Blue Thunder T45s. We also have have a soul exchange, try and get some of these level 5s, level 6s out pretty quick. The shield recovery. I probably would need to put a second one in here at some point. I'll get probably get around to that. Cost down is here because uh, trying to minimize, get some of these again out quickly. Joey's favorite graceful dice and his, co and his companion skull dice are here because, again, dice. Boss rush is here. We've got the Dangerous Machine Type 6, which, albeit this card mostly screws me over, but I like to live dangerously. The Dice Foon is here. Blind Destruction. Dice Reroll. Fire Dart. And Dice Nified. Dice Nied. I can't pronounce that. Of course, we also have the Dice Booster, which... I really should have started doing this before, because it attempt to get attacks of monsters higher. So yes, I mostly am not using this probably the way it should be. I brute force things. Because that's just the way I play the game. Sometimes I'm not very fancy. I am trying to brute force my way through things. It doesn't end well, normally. But let's start out going after the Contract of the Abyss. This will probably end in disaster. Well, it's a bet. I really do love Duke's character design. It's all that great. <laughs> Alright. Okay, not exactly uh, the best, but no oh, well, this could work in my favor. Okay, so there's a contract with the Abyss, so he either has a ritual monster already in there, or I'm still screwed. Um, let's see what happens. Okay, I might not be screwed. So we have two dice clops to start out with, maximum six, and a soul exchange, and a skull dice. I think I'm going to hold on to maximum six and soul exchange, just in case he gets his ritual monster out first. But, you know what? Eh, let's live dangerously. What are the odds I'm gonna get a six? Fuck. Oh well. Hit. Am I going to fail? Let's see some failure. Come on, hit me with some failure. I was not expecting that. Interesting. 
Does he just not have the right cards? Hold on to the crystal core for a second. Dace, will you please stop? Excuse me. Sorry. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna hold on to that for a second. Again, I want to have options. I swear to God, dog, stop. I don't know what his issue is today. Okay, so now they're trying to get the ritual monsters. Oh, relinquished! I really don't want to deal with you. Frick. Uh, triple frick. Uh, oh boy. Nino want to deal with relinquished. Oh boy. Wait, does he just not have any? Uh, I am very confused. So, you know what? We're just going to bring that out. We're not going to do anything too fancy. And we're just going to kill. I'm very confused on if he just didn't have any monsters to sacrifice. I mean, he had two ritual magic cards and the ritual and a ritual monster. So, I don't know. That was strange. I mean, the game's taken mercy on me before, but that wasn't mercy. That was, uh, nerve-wracking for a second. Let's go with our second one here. Immortals Rise. Sure, let's, let's do this. I still don't get that. Unless I has not had any monsters. Weird. Okay, what do we got today? So, um, we have the BES Crystal Core, the Blue Thunder T45, the... Okay, the BES Big Core MK2. Uh, and a Shield Recovery. Okay, so that will work. Uh, Sure, we'll put that out. I mean, I can deal with this. Hmm. I'm curious, now what are you going to do? Hey sir, please don't. I would prefer this not be an every few minute thing. Uh, so, let's see. We'll hit it with this. What's the- oh yeah, Goblin Zombie has an effect too. Ugh, not looking forward to your existence. Uh... Oh! Sure that's one thing gone, but it's fine. Sure, that's the whole thing dead, but whatever. I need to stop. You know, I really should have done the thing with this. I know, I'm an idiot.
Sure, let's go ahead and see what happens. I got far too ahead of myself, but I tend to do that. So, am I going to die because I did a stupid... Yes! Who doesn't love watching me do stupid? Punish me for my stupidity. Come on. I should have used that shield recovery, but I didn't think. Live and learn. <laughs> make a stupid mis when it makes stupid mistake, get a stupid prize. <laughs> See, so what do I do with next? Um, I don't want Miss Condescending. What do you got? Lost City. That seems to be the one to beat today. Interesting. Another there's Immortals Rise. What's your existence back there, Jay? Smile of Venus. And I guess we'll see what Miss Condescendant's got for us. Gemini Monsters. Oh, why not? The other seer, at least there's not a dark red hamburger. I, as anyone would know, I don't like going against that deck. It kills me. Literally. <laughs> Close to literally. All right. Now, I'm not going to make the same screw up I did before, but let's see. And I'm not going to take the risk at the moment. Okay, one of those has got to be an order to charge or something. Yep, called it. Order to charge. We'll just go with that. I will take the risk as long as I have a second monster on hand. What does Orgoth do anyway? Okay. I will take that as just an excuse to get an extra 15 points of damage, 100 points of damage. Now in that regard, I could have had this flipped up, but I really would rather play it safe because I don't know what all she's got back there. And the less stupid I do, the better I think we all are, so. Okay, so let's just go with this. Let's get Orgoth out here. I really should start trying to summon everybody's ace monster once in a while. Mostly because these things look so freaking cool. Okay. Let's see, what's your effect? Six? 
three. Oh, six! nice after I screwed up the first that other one. That was glory. I love it. Alright. One, two, three, yeah. So that was actually three, so yeah, I'd say that works. Not my favorite deck to use. Acer Hush. But Hey, not too bad. I probably, uh, people who are better lucky with dice would probably have more fun with it than I do. I'm not the risky type. But, uh, you know, down below, do your likes, your comments, subscribes. And I will, uh, be back next with the Mecha Sarah Zero, which I'm expecting full failure. See you in a few.